Welcome back to my channel. Join me in this demo and swatches of this beautiful Pat McGrath Lust Lip Gloss Vault. And in addition to this original 14 that was in her original vault, she's come out in the past couple of weeks, she's come out with another 18 shades. And I only purchased four of the new shades and I'm gonna show those to you as well today. So we've got 20 total glosses to show you from Pat McGrath's collection. Um, and um, we have an additional two, uh, the limited edition ones, the, the bronze astral and gold astral that are really beautiful. It's part of my favorite um, lip look that I'm doing right now. So sit back and relax. Um, maybe have a nice lemon drop martini. My husband just brought me one because I'm so frustrated because this is my third, count of third time filming this uh, because I don't know how to edit yet. So when I make a mistake or when my cockatoo is banging on the cage doors like an irate prisoner, then I have to just start all over again. So the joys of animal companionship. These feel so good. I love this hot peak packaging with the, the gold foil embossed um, logo on it. That is really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and get started and check out this vault, see what these glosses are about. Now, I can already tell you that, first of all, this vault, I believe it was $325. And I don't know for sure, it's, it's definitely not on sale anymore. I got this like six months ago and it's been sitting on my dresser. And I just sort of forgot to use it. It's another one of those things, but I'm doing better and it's, I won't call it a resolution. I'll just say that I'm doing better and I'm using my stuff. So let's have fun with these because they're beautiful. It's lightweight. Uh, you don't feel anything on your lips. And trust me, after the third take, I have layers and layers of product on my lips. And it's light. It's not sticky. I feel absolutely nothing on my lips. So this is a really, really good formulation. And it just feels luxurious. The, the packaging is you know just top notch it's stunning if you look you see that um it's just it goes like that and goes back down into its little slot and it's just beautiful so let's get started um i think we're going to start with most of the special edition colors the ones that are kind of sheer but just have like a like a beautiful gold reflect or some kind of weird trippy sort of finish to it We'll go ahead and start with those. Um, I think those are the ones that are on the top after all the other takes. So first we've got Blitz Gold. She's shiny, she's beautiful, she loves it. She's very, very gold. I wanna put this on so bad, but I'm not. Alrighty, that is Blitz Gold. Let's gold. Next up, we've got Alien Genic. And she looks just like a plain white, but she has this, she comes off as pink and has like the most gorgeous shift. So I love how the, um, the doe foot is slanted back to assist with your application. So she comes off as like a, like an alienogenic pink. Yes. Alienogenic. And I really, really love that um, name. She's an alien and she's an angel. How cute is that? Next up, we've got Gold Allure. And I'm going to swatch that right next to the gold blitz so she looks white in the tube but if when you put her next to gold blitz they are very very similar i would not um, say that you needed to buy both colors you've got blitz gold and gold allure very very similar and that's alien genic those are very similar colors. I definitely not think that a person would need 
two of the, would need both of those. Um, they do look very, very similar. I don't know if you would be able to distinguish. Next up, we've got Pale Nectar, Pale Fire Nectar. Yes, Pale Fire Nectar. And she also comes off as sort of a pinky, Pale Fire Nectar. Isn't she pretty? That looks like jewelry. Like sparkling diamond jewelry on the back of my hands. Next up we've got Blood 2, which is on my lips. And the color that you get is not the color, I'm gonna actually just swatch this on my lips. Put a little bit more on. I don't know why because I'm drinking. Oopsie daisy. Blood too. So the color that you get is not the color that you see in the tube. It's um, a more of a sheer formulation and I think it's designed to be that way. I don't think that it lacks pigmentation that it was intended to have. I think that you just get the sense of the color. And isn't that pretty? Blood too. And Pam McGrath has these colors. She has all these blood two, blood seven, blood three, and uh, these flesh colors, flesh two, flesh four. And um, I always wonder what is the connection between them. And I'm going to do a flesh and blood series. And it's my own original idea, just thought of it. And I thought this would be really cool to do all the flesh tones and blood tones that Pat McGrath does in her um, lipsticks and lip glosses and swatch them for you and, you know, do a demo of them and find out what the flesh and the blood tones are all about. Um, I have a lot of them. I'm not sure if I have them all, um, but I'm going to do some research and I'm going to check in what I don't have. I will purchase so that I can have a complete series and just do all the flesh and blood tones. I thought that would be really fun. Um, this is Twilo, this bright coral. Isn't that fun? That screams summertime. Let me go ahead and swatch her. Come on, Twilo. S. Twilo. That is really, really fun. I love her glosses. They are so lightweight. And the quality is just stunning. They smell like vanilla. Next up, we've got Bronze Temptation. And I just love the names of uh, her products. They're always so sexy, not vulgar, not weird and druggy names, you know, but just, you know, cute, sexy little names to her products. Um, if you cannot tell, I'm a huge Pat McGrath fan. That is Bronze Temptation. And I don't know about you, but I'm tempted. I am so tempted. <laughs> Bronze Temptation. I love that. This one I'm leaving out because I think I'm gonna be wearing that often. And I need to start using my stuff. That is Bronze Temptation. And I am very tempted. Next up we've got Dare to Bear. And I remember this one being a very sheer pink color. And what do you know? Multiple takes. I kinda know them by heart now. Dare to Bear, and she's a sheer shell pink. Love that. That would be great with a, a darker liner. That's really, really pretty. Dare to Bear. Next up, we've got Flesh Astral. And so I wonder if I would put that in my Flesh and Blood series, Flesh Astral. She is a flesh color, somebody's flesh. Beautiful flesh tone. This doesn't have a lot of sparkle to it. Flesh astral. There we go, flesh astral. She's so pretty. I love that. I think I should include the flesh astral in my um, flesh and blood series. Oh my God, that man makes a phenomenal martini. 
I love my husband. He's such a good guy. That is Flesh Astral. Love it. Next up, we've got Flesh Fantasy. Yeah, I will include those. They say flesh, so I'll, I'll include those in the Flesh and Blood series so that I have enough. Maybe do looks with them or whatever, but I just think it would be cool to know, you know, what. Well, that's pretty. This is Flesh Fantasy. That is beautiful. Flesh Fantasy. Look how beautiful. Flesh Fantasy. Yeah, I'm going to include that in my Flesh and Blood series. That'll be fun. I think so far I just have like maybe two of the blood colors. Um, I, this blood too that I have on my lips today from that's a lip gloss. And then um, I know I have a, a, um, a couple of the lipsticks too. So I'll put those into that series. This is Divine Rose. Divine Rose. And she's a mid-tone pink. Very cute. There we go. Divine Rose. Divine Rose. Lovely. And I love this formulation. It's just so lightweight and you just don't feel anything at all on your lips. It is incredible. Ooh, Flesh Four. She's a brown. She's beautiful. She's a deep, looks like a cool toned brown. That is flesh four. Flesh four. She's definitely going in my flesh series. She's beautiful. I love the brown tones. My favorite lipstick right now, I'm gonna show you as soon as I get done. I have two more of these to show you. Next up we've got, what is your name, sweetheart? It is paraphernalia. Paraphernalia, I guess that is kind of a drug connotation. But you could have beauty paraphernalia. And she is a purpley pink paraphernalia. Aren't these just gorgeous? I love this formulation. It is not sticky. It wears very nicely for at least four hours. It goes over other lip products, can be worn alone. It's really, I think, it's my favorite formulation of lip gloss. Aphrodisiac, that's what this one's called. And she's a pink. She looks like a lovely light pink. Let's see her swatched. Aphrodisiac. Ooh, she actually ha is very pigmented. And she's a warm tone pink. That is Aphrodisiac. Look at her. Okay, that's the original 14 Lust Glosses that Pat McGrath came out with. I believe it was in the fall, like around October that she came out with them and then today I picked up well it came yesterday I think the this is how her trios her lip trios come either for the lipsticks or for the glosses they come it used to come with like loose um sequins and people were like but it came with all this tinsel in the packaging today and I don't know if it was the second take or the first take if there was a tinsel explosion. So opening up a Pat McGrath um, box in unboxing, you have to, it's like cleaning up after a New Year's Eve party. It was a lot. It was a lot. So I picked up four colors from her new shade extensions, which is new 18 new colors. I picked up four of them. 
and um, I got this set right here, which is the flesh set. It has three of the glosses, including flesh, no, this is Bronze Divinity. Bronze Divinity, isn't that cute though? Bronze Divinity. Come on, Bronze Divinity. Ooh, she's sparkly. Bronze Divinity. Um, I'm just gonna put her here. Bronze Divinity. And she got an A on Tintalia's blog. That's beautiful. Bronze Divinity. I adore that. Bronze Divinity. Oh my God, somebody's kids are outside screaming in the middle of the street. Yikes. This is, let's see. This is the antidote to children, to people's loud children. Mm, it works. It does. It works. Faux real. And I love this color. This is the lightest of all the glosses. And that's like, this looks like this is my skin tone. I really like this. This would be a really great new lip. Faux real. It's a little darker, I guess. <clears throat> Faux real next to bronze divinity faux real love it I'm loving it and then finally in this flesh trio is flesh six definitely going in the flesh and blood series Ooh, that's pretty that looks like a bronzy copper flesh six. Oh, that's a really pretty color. That's a very nice, deep reddish brown color. Flesh six. Flesh six. Beautiful, beautiful. Love her. So that's the, the flesh trio from the new shades that were released. Um, Faux Real, Flesh Six, and Bronze Divinity. And this is the three of them here. Beautiful, beautiful. And then finally, I bought a single. That's the fourth of the new. And it's called Secret Lover. She is a beautiful, beautiful pink. Let's get her swatched here. She is, she's a deep, like, rose. She beautiful, like a mauve rose. That's gorgeous. Those two together might be really pretty. Love it. And finally, the last two glosses, these are not in the lust formulation this was a little trio that i bought for like uh by the way i think this vault i don't know if i mentioned it, it was 325 um, for the first 14 glosses and um this flesh trio that i purchased was 70 dollars, and that saves um a lot of uh, money actually because um they retail for is it 28 dollars or 26 dollars? i'm not sure but the three of them together, $70 for the trio. So that's some, some money off, which is always a good and welcome thing. And then the Secret Lover just paid the $28 or $26, whatever the, the lip gloss cost. This little trio was a limited edition trio. It's in Bronze Astral and Gold Astral. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch this. But these have been like, this bronze is what I've been wearing. It just kind of looks clear actually, but it doesn't. It has a beautiful, yeah, this bronze astral. I've been wearing this over my very favorite um, Pat McGrath lipstick. Isn't she pretty? 
It's in um, the color Lust Angeles. And if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen this a, a gazillion times. I show it every time. It's a, it's kind of a grungy brown, like a grazy, grungy brown color that's very kind of on the nude side. And it is just very neutral, very wearable, beautiful formulation and luxe trance formulation. So it's very creamy, lightly moisturizing, very long lasting. And I've just been throwing this bronze astral right on top of it. And that's been such a pretty look. And most of my videos, that's what I'm wearing. Not today. I have on the Blood 2 Lip Gloss today. And then, finally, the Gold Astral. It was a little limited edition set. Um, the in, their, in her vinyl gloss formula. This is before she came out with the Lust Gloss. And there it is right there. The gold. You can. It's very sheer. Very hard to see. That's the gold astral, and that's the bronze astral. That's the secret lover, right? Yes. <laughs> and that's the flesh color. Really, really beautiful. Beautiful glosses, beautiful formulation. Um, I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this video with me and seeing the swatches of all of Pat McGrath's beautiful lust formula and her lip glosses. I mean, they're really second to none. If formula can't be beat. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe, best of all, to my channel. And press that notification button as well so that you can be aware of when I have new videos coming out. And I generally post a video every other day. So that's pretty much my posting schedule right now. But I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you love it as much as I um, enjoyed making it for you. So have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next time. Thank you.